Welcome to my domain. This is Dimension X. What's wrong with my appearance? I appear to have been transformed into a bunny. This is this. Well, this makes me very angry, very angry indeed. So this is the planet X file. Clocks fourteen. Golden carrots twenty six. Okay, we're done with that. I was thinking of being Marvin for the entire thing, but but no, let's not. Um. So. Uh. Yes. Um. specimen to test my new space modulator experience. Oh, goody! My Illudium Q36 explosive space modulator! Uh, so most of Dimension X is inspired by one single cartoon, and that cartoon is Hairway to the Stars. Um, 19th of March, and 1958. And what a bloody amazing cartoon it is. Um, it is a fantastic cartoon, and this is a long and confusing level, and difficult and fun, but mostly difficult. Um, so the garbage storage, sweet checkpoint. It is, is this is what I think it is? If, if that exit sign is what I actually think it is, it is the most evil sign in the universe. I really hope I don't show it off, but I also want to show it off. So, yes. I'm not going to spoil it unless it happens or doesn't happen. So, yes. Well, yeah. Just, just, yeah. Just, yeah. We'll get to it when we get to it, I guess. Um, so, does that lead to the beginning of the level? I believe so. So, I'm going to go this way. But, yes. Hairway to the Stars is an absolutely fantastic level. Uh, oh, cartoon, sorry. Um, absolutely incredible. It is probably one of the best Bugs Bunny cartoons, and definitely what made me a fan of Marvin. Like, I've, I've, I have nothing against Marvin in any way, shape, or form, but just that cartoon was just brilliant. Just all around, absolutely fantastic. You. You might be the worst thing in this game. So, he will freeze, and oh no, oh no, time to show off why, you know how I said I, I'll, I'll show you, I'm not going to do it on purpose, but I'll show you, yep, not only does that robot send you so far back, and he's there multiple times in this level, you are forcefully placed onto a checkpoint, meaning you can't die to get back to where you were. You have to manually go there. That is so awful. Oh boy. This robot is the worst. The worst! It effectively means these checkpoints are utterly meaningless. Because at any point I could be thrust back to the beginning. So, yay? No, not yay. I don't know if creeping around stops him from detecting me or not. It's currently my countermeasure. I'm going to make sure he doesn't see me, hopefully, maybe. But you do need to get him to freeze the, uh, the Martians in order to uh, succeed and progress. So this is a cool puzzle. It's uh it's pretty self explanatory, but I like it. It's ye good old ye platforming greatness right here. Just really trying not to fall. Not that it makes a difference because I'm just going to be Thrust back to the beginning. How many golden? 26, okay. That's not too bad, actually. That's quite reasonable. Got quite a lot already as well, so. 
No, it's not that bad. So yes, I have no idea if this is actually the solution from not seeing me or if it's a radius thing. I'm assuming it's noise, because that's typically how it works. You may have noticed there's the uh, trash compactor right there. This is one of these levels which can either take like 15 minutes or an hour, <laughs> depending on how badly or well this section goes with, with this guy. So. Yeah, I also don't remember if this level is part of a, like, there's a section I'm remembering from this world as a whole, and I cannot for the life of me remember if it's in this level or if it's just its own thing. I think it's probably... Oh man, I need to use the robot. Yeah, I need to use the robot. Hi. You see the idea... Oh no. I don't care about all of them, just just one. I just need one. Hmm, two tons, lovely. Um let's go over here first. Yeah, I think that is probably the best idea. See so, yeah, you may have noticed getting frozen does not kill you or hurt you, actually. It just is a means of being caught. Now, was that near where the robot was? Or was it through the two-ton area? I'm really hoping the two-ton area. Lovely hydraulic press. Hydraulic press channel, Bugs Bunny. Uh, under a hydraulic press. That's, uh, that's a pretty good video, that. Yeah, it's over here. Cool. Now, does that teleport me somewhere entirely new? In. Um, I will check this area first before I confirm that. I'm thinking possibly because of that. Yes, I think so. Okay, well, let's do that then. I'm not seeing a downside, currently. Now, because it's taking me to a new area, if I get thrown into the trash compactor, does it still put me to the beginning of the level? Because if so, holy balls, no. Oh. Yeah, really, there's no downside to going here. <laughs> That's... There, there is in fact two golden carrots and a clock. Where there literally none. No downside. Give me them all. In. And a, this is oddly generous. Why? Oh, there's 14 clocks. I was like, huh, isn't there only nine? No. No, <laughs> there's a lot more. Oh, there's a lot more than nine. Okay, yeah, you really have to actually just time this properly. You, you can't really cheat it, can you? Yeah, I'd rather do that, that's easier. Now, which way do I want to go? I don't know, but I appear to be going this way. I don't know if it's the right way to go. I think this is the way to just the clock, because if I saw the end correctly... It's the trash compactor, and that's what, and that's it. It's the trash man. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. It's a big old no. Oh, what's the other route then? I really want to go the other way now because I feel like I've made a horrible mistake if I don't. I feel like this is going to take me to, like, a new, a completely new area. Ah, the difficulties we face. Screw it, I'm going back. Oh, that was a big mistake. Why is this so difficult to time? It really shouldn't be. There we go. Like, I have no idea what's on this side. It might actually be nothing at all. But you know what? I'm not taking the risk. I'm gonna check it out. Oh, it's here! Yeah, it was a. Oh, yeah, no, it was a technically giant waste of time. Oh, well, never mind. It, I needed to check. I did need to check, so it's not the worst thing. If I didn't check, I would have regretted it, even though there was nothing to miss. 
I would have felt really uneasy for the rest of the level, probably. So, we did the right thing in the long run until I get caught by the trash man. Yo, how are you doing? Oh shit, oh shit, oh you, you piss right off. Oh, the camera angle, oh my god, the camera angle. Holy, how the f- whoa. <laughs> Area 4. Nice. There's still a lot of this level, apparently. There's some health, so that's nice. Does it still take me to the beginning if I get caught by the trash man? Again, I don't know. I would like to believe no, but I probably do. How many clocks are there left in this? Well, I mean, there's eight. But there's only, like, two golden carrots soon. Like... Okay, there's five golden carrots and eight clocks. What the hell is going on here? This level always has a weird balance of how it's organising things. There's nothing hidden behind the, uh, the beginning, right? No. Okay, just want to make sure. Which way do I want to start off with? I guess this way. This is simple enough. Okay, cool. That worked. Again, that was also simple enough. And that does that. Okay, so that's actually how you progress. It's not just a simple, oh no, you need to, you need to do this for this. No, you actually, like, truly need to do that. There we go. That wasn't too bad. I figured if you just stood on it, it was going to move it. Oh, but wait, what's over here? I think that's a platform that's not filled in. I think that's what that is. If I recall correctly. I'm going to trust my gut on this one. It's always good if you are unsure. Trust your gut instinct. Does that switch activate that? It does. Okay, I was right. Is it a timer? Yes, it is. Okay. I was right. Good. Trust your gut. Always good. Unless your gut is grumbling because... You will have been poisoned by food. That's not as good. I mean, you know, it's just common sense, really. But I give you lots of good advice. Okay, so that's how we get back. So that's good. That's always nice. I'm going to get this carrot. Because it's carrot. Because carrot. Yeah, this is interesting. It's like a linear puzzle, but I, I actually kind of like it. What's with the eye? Oh, I see. I see, but it's kind of doing nothing, so... <laughs> it's kind of weird. It's like a fret, but it does absolutely nothing. What is that? Mysterious phenomena of the unexplained. I hope someone gets that reference. Because that is a good reference. It's a good reference that no one really knows about. And it's a shame because they are a good set of cartoons. Okay, I may as well say it. It's the webtoons. They were basically website cartoons uh, for the Nintendo's website. And. They released uh, quite a few of them on DVD. Um, they weren't that long, they were like two to three minutes each. But they were really good, they're very funny. Um, and yeah, they're just worth checking. But there were loads that were on the website that were never actually released on DVD and just I can't find them anywhere on the internet. If anyone has them or knows of their existence, please drop me a link because I want them. Like, I really want them. It's like the one thing I don't have from the Nintendo's collection. It's a shame. Because it was just I didn't know about them properly at the time, and I didn't, I wasn't tech savvy, and I didn't know how to record screens and stuff, so I couldn't back it up or anything. But I, I want them. Okay, what is this? I don't remember this at all. 
Why can you use the remote control to control the robot? Use the directional buttons and the jump button to shoot and kick. Oh, this rings a bell vaguely, yeah. Yeah, this does ring a bell. Okay, good, it's not the early action. Uh, after three. I was gonna say, like, that's... I was very worried for a second. So, robots only, so I just have to do this area, I suppose. Okay. This is cool. I don't remember this, but I... Oh boy. I don't I don't really remember this at all, but I like it. I think it's rad. Whoa. Okay, there we go. No! Oh, wow! That's awesome! Like, so the more I get hit, the... The more I lose... Like... Me. Huh. That's kind of cool. I presume I only have, uh, yet two lives, is what I was gonna say. This is very, very cool. It's also a very, very long level, but I'm digging it, so... And it hasn't been too horrible to me. I'm pretty sure there are no other areas where, like, robots can, uh, outright, um, like, send me back to the beginning. I think we're past that now. So that's good. I'm assuming it's impossible to get here without Oli Oli Oxen Free. Maybe not, I don't know. I'm only saying that because, like, pretty much a big, like, problem if you don't have it. I'm very bad at dodging these. Obviously. In the respect that I clearly got hit by loads of them. Yeah, sometimes he shoots loads, and sometimes he doesn't, it's weird. I don't know what the deal is with that. Really wish I got the other robot, but... We seem to be fine, so that's all that matters, I guess. Okay, so what's the deal here? How do I get these? I'm assuming it's something to do with this. I hope. It seems to be, yes. That looks like the end of the level, though. Ollie, Ollie, action free. I feel like it is. So how does one get the others? No, it can't be. That would say end of level. I hope. I hope the game would be more transparent than that. Yes, okay, I was gonna say. It is definitely taking me... Oh! Okay, so I have missed. Can I go back? No, it's not letting me go back. Oh, that's annoying. I have missed them then. Yeah, because there are four clocks here. Oh, damn it. I have. I've screwed up. I remember now. There are four clocks here. But I have screwed up big time. Oh, man. How do you get those clocks then? I'm honestly not sure. Do I just keep dodging until I win? Or... I don't know. Yes. Okay. Yes, and then that. Yes. This is very annoying. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, I remember now. I really hope the game lets me go back after this. Because if not, I have to redo the entire level for those two clocks, which I will probably will probably be one of the last things I do, just because I don't want to do it right now. Wow, I'm awful jumping over this guy. Oh, oh, that's kind of cool. To be fair, that was actually quite a quite a clever hazard. I failed. Uh -huh. 
Surprised he hasn't gone, oh, this makes me very angry. <laughs> very angry indeed. Ow. You earth creatures have the worst sense of direction. That was easy. I quite like this boss though. It's simple, but it's actually pretty good. It reminds me of um, Tropy from Crash 3. A little bit. But actually, I'd say harder. It would definitely be harder if it didn't have the carrots. And like, not in an unfair way either. It's actually pretty fair. I'd say. Gotcha. One to go. And then I'm praying that I can go back. Only one way to find out. You are faster. Or not. <laughs> Immediately proved me wrong. I think you're wrong. Oh, what? No, no. Oh, okay. It starts with that. I, I forgot how generous the game is with stuff like that. This game is incredibly generous, and I'm actually really thankful for that, because that wasn't my fault, and I don't even really know what happened there, to be honest. Well, that was easy. <laughs> that was a pretty easy final phase in that respect. This is very annoying. Nice. Got him. And then he just goes away. It's like, nope, I'm out. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, again, really, really hoping I can go back to where I was. I have a feeling I can't. I, I just, I just have that feeling. And it's worrying me. Because, because that feeling. <laughs> it's a good feeling of sadness. Is this going to be the exit of the level? Maybe not? No, that is, yeah. Yeah, there it is. That is depressing. I don't know what I did wrong, though. Good, but you left some stuff behind you. I really don't actually know what I did wrong. Oh, but that is cool. Oh, that's not the level I was thinking of, but that's even cooler. Let me save your position. Sure, why not? Thanks, Moyle. Bye. Yeah, goodbye, Moyle. Okay, yeah, well, we got most things. It's just that sucked right at the end. That is a shame. So what else is there? There's 60 clocks. That's actually probably quite close to that. Yeah, we got 55. Nice. Um, there's hundreds of... Wow, that's very end game, isn't it? Um, and there's whatever this is. 70. Okay. Yeah, a lot of this is going to be a little bit later. Um, but okay. I think we're done here. So thank you very much for watching my video. It's been fantastic. Um... Hope you leave a like, subscribe, and more than Let's Play is coming up. I, uh, I like Looney Tunes Space Race. It's a real fun game, and it's set in space. Real good. Uh, there are Martians. I'm there. Take care, everyone.